terms of like going between a bus and a car, the price is almost the same. I mean, you can rent cars or buy cars uh, pretty easy. Uh, buses are fairly cheap. Yeah, we spent the last two months uh, <laughs> traveling around in a van. Uh, by bus, we've been yes. traveling by bus. The stray bus, yeah. It's such a wonderful time. What's great about having your own transportation is you can go anywhere you want, whenever you want. You can sleep by the beach, you can be in a city, you can be anywhere. Yeah. We're doing a car and it's much more convenient. You can get to go where you want, but one thing you do miss out is meeting lots of people. Half and half, I think, would be the perfect trip. Mm. To hitchhike over here, so it's quite safe to travel that way. Most popular ways to travel for most backpackers in New Zealand would be by renting a car or buying a car. Once they get a group together, it is the cheapest option for them, and then they get to stay in beautiful spots camping around. Runner-up to that, I would say, would be the tour buses and the public buses, and then you have the real independent backpackers that are out hitchhiking. I find the best way to pack my bag is to roll it all up into small bits and jam it down as far as you can. Always leave your pyjamas at the top of the bag so you don't have to unpack before you go to bed each night. Or like find ways to put clothes into like shoes or <laughs> when we left, you roll everything up really tight and you put it in, you know, right beside each other. But when you're in a rush and you have to go on a bus, you just kind of shove everything in there in the last minute and hope your bag doesn't burst. So. Would you like to see? Rolling up really yeah. works. Sitting on it works, jumping, all those kind of things to keep to get the zipper closed. But I'll tell you, if you saw our car, our packing <laughs> is not grade A professional. But for the car, you don't need to pack it that well because in the car you can spread your things out that's one nice if you've got a suitcase at the front of your suitcase put all your shoes and then have two different sections for your clothes summer stuff and winter stuff on one side so that when you go into different areas and different weathers you've got it all to hand it's a better packer than me <laughs> the magic boat is thick and hot it sure smells dreadful does it not when you're getting on the bus Make sure you bring a blanket, a pillow for always good, a book and an iPod. Food, long bus strips, so you need to yeah, keep so your energy out. Drink. Yeah. Bring a pillow with you. And take a pair of socks if you haven't got socks on because it gets quite cold on the buses. Just to keep make sure everything's safe and stuff, uh, I sleep with my, my head on top of my bag and I always make sure I've got a really big jumper with me. Usually I take my small rucksack, which is the one I've, I've got on at the moment, take that on the bus with me and then my, my larger rucksack uh, just put that into the, the, book, the compartment underneath. Just wake up in the morning, you're not exactly sure what's going to happen. You can just go with it. 